Whether you hated or loved Jurassic World Dominion, we're still left wanting more. So here are 10 scenes for the next Jurassic World film. Number one, and this is probably on everyone's mind, more Spinosaurus. Ever since Jurassic Park 3, the Spinosaurus has been a huge topic of conversation in the Jurassic franchise. Whether you loved it or you hated it, everybody wants to see more Spinosaurus screen time in the live action sense. Because we do know it was part of Camp Cretaceous, but that is not live action. So everyone wants to know the Spinosaurus' full story, whether it survives or whether it dies, on the big screen. Number two, more meaningful T-Rex screen time. And what do I mean by that? Because everyone might be, oh, we had the T-Rex, we had loads of Dominion. But yeah, that was very cliche, the standard T-Rex screen time. So what I mean by meaningful is stuff we haven't seen before, such as a swimming T-Rex. In Jurassic Park, the novel, the T-Rex can actually swim and chases the cast through a river and a pond and hunts them downstream. That, for me, would reinvigorate the T-Rex screen time because we all we ever see is the T-Rex either A, fighting another apex, yeah, I know, we've seen it, or B, killing the antagonist dinosaur of whatever it's in. So I'd like to see some more off-the-cuff T-Rex screen time. Number three, adaptive camouflage Carnotaurus. Now, what do you mean, you might be asking? Well, think back to the Indominus Rex of Jurassic World. She could turn basically invisible with adaptive camouflage. Now, in the Lost World Jurassic Park novel, we actually have Carnotaurus, which can do exactly the same thing because their DNA was spliced with chameleons. So what I would love to see is the Carnotauruses in this new film actually having some type of adaptive camouflage. Now, whether that's because they are made by someone else other than InGen or whoever else has been manufacturing them, they could quite easily make them have this adaptive camouflage like they did in the novels. Which brings me on to number four, more horror, less action. Now, if we've all seen Dominion, which I believe you have, there's a lot of action scenes in there. There's not a lot of suspense. No one's really afraid of the dinosaurs anymore. They're petting them. They're keeping them as pets. You know, no one's really scared of these massive dinosaurs anymore. Whereas in the original Jurassic Park, it was very much horror. Everyone was scared of them. And if felt very much like an aliens film where everyone was scared for their lives. They tried to recapture that horror sense in Jurassic World as well with the Indominus Rex and everyone being scared because the dinosaurs were unleashed on the park and it kind of worked but then in Fallen Kingdom and then in Dominion there is no sense of real horror. It is basically action and at some points during Dominion I felt like I was watching a Taken film. So I'd love to see more horror than action. Number five. Camp Cretaceous character crossovers. Now, whether you loved Camp Cretaceous or whether you hated it, maybe you haven't even seen it. It was an animated show and had some really great characters in there. And plus, it's also canon. I would love to see some of these characters turn up in an in-real-life scenario in the new Jurassic World movie. Now, when this movie's coming out, even if one does come out, I would love to see some of the old characters from that return and make an appearance and really intertwine their stories because they will have a lot to offer, especially as they stories and everything which happened to them is canon. Speaking of characters, this brings me on to number six, the return of Lex, Timmy, Zack and Grey from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. Everyone was left wondering what actually happened to them and whether they were going to turn up in Dominion or not because there were rumours that they were going to return. Alas, we never seen them and we do not know their fate to this day. So I would love to see Lex, Timmy, Zack and Grey potentially even meet up in a new future scene because that would be really impactful, especially Lex and Timmy because we haven't seen them since the second film which was the Lost World Jurassic Park and they only had a really really brief cameo so I'd love to see them turn up along with Zack and Grey what actually happened to them after the events of Jurassic World do they still love dinosaurs do they not love dinosaurs did they go into working with dinosaurs I don't know but I feel there could be a great scene there for the future Number seven, more raptor packs. Now, what do I mean by that, more raptor packs? Well, we had the Atroci raptor pack. We had the actual official raptor pack in Jurassic World. And we had the big one pack in Jurassic Park. I would love to see another meaningful pack or the return of the Atroci raptors. Maybe even a pyro raptor pack in the future would be great to see. Because again, in Dominion, it felt very underused. It did have a little bit of screen time, but it would have been great to see a lot more and maybe see it in a pack and the intelligence levels. Maybe we even see them all come up against each other in a big pack versus pack battle. I definitely would love to see the return of the Tiger Raptor packs from Isla Sauna. What about you guys? Number eight, more aquatic dinosaurs. Obviously, we had the Morsosaurus, and she is out there in the world hunting and 
forming alliances with orcas, all kinds of things. And we have the Nothosaurus from Camp Cretaceous, but they are really the only aquatic species we know of in the franchise which are canon. So I would love to see more be introduced into the franchise in more scenes, such as a plesiosaur. Everyone's been wanting a plesiosaur for aeons, and it was originally supposed to be in some old Jurassic World concept art. It was on the door to Camp Cretaceous, but alas, again, this never materialized. We had the Nothosaurus in Camp Cretaceous, but everyone wants more aquatic dinosaurs, including myself. Number nine, more dinosaurs in our world. Now you might be thinking, well, Shadows, we had dinosaurs in our world in Jurassic World Dominion. Did we? Did we really though? Not necessarily. The entire movie was basically set in an isolated incident in the Bioseng Sanctuary. We never really got to see them stories unfold as much. Sure, we had bits of lore on the Dino Tracker, but that wasn't included in the movie. So I would have loved to have seen more dinosaurs actually in the world causing carnage, causing havoc, and actually have a, an integral part of the story. Just like we've seen the T-Rex in the prologue going into movie theaters and all kinds of things causing carnage. Number 10, military dino use. Now this was very much hinted at with the Endoraptor where they were going to potentially design this technology and make them able to track targets etc for some type of military use and able to hunt and track targets. Now this never really materialized because they didn't perfect the Endoraptor yet and if you want to know all about the potential of an Endoraptor return check this video out here. But we never really seen that military dino use as such so I would love to see how the military would use dinosaurs, their dinosaur technology, the genome, the DNA makeup, how they would use that in a future Jurassic World story. Because as we know, Jurassic Park 4, or what is now Jurassic World, would have been extremely different because the storyline they had for Jurassic Park 4 was the fact that they were going to fuse human and dinosaur DNA together to create these military dinosaur-human hybrids, which were super strong, super aggressive, and that were going to be used in the military on future operations. Now, this obviously did materialize and we got Jurassic World instead which I'm extremely happy about but I definitely would love to see how the military would utilize these dinosaurs the technology and everything else because we haven't really had that in a sense sure we had Hoskins and him trying to militarize the dinosaur raptor pack which turned out extremely bad but if they research the technology put the funding into it everything else in between you could have a massive massive storyline there in itself with the ability to make dinosaurs slash hybrids very scary once again which will bring back into the horror element what scenes would you like to see in an upcoming jurassic world movie when eventually we do get one is anyone's guess could be two years could be five years could be ten years who really knows but what scenes would you like to see please let me know in the comments because i read every single comment i'd like to thank my patrons and youtube members as always thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe and like this video cheers now bye bye